Welcome to the studio, it's Froyal here. I'm so glad you've joined me. I'm a little bit excited because it's a special episode today. I'm joining with the artists of PM Artist Studio and we're having a creative collaboration. <laughs> so I've been given four simple items for prompts and I'm going to make something absolutely fabulous. I also only have 15 minutes. <laughs> So it's going to be a lot of fun, it's going to be fast and what you want to do is continue watching the videos from the end because Mariah comes up next and she's going to be creating something fabulous with the exact same items. So much fun, I hope you're going to join me. Right, well I'm pretty excited for this project, it's so much fun. Now the theme, something old is new again, to me speaks of fashion. Oh, look at my beautiful little treasure, look at the pants she's wearing, hello, we're looking at 1972. <laughs> and this was like oh, two years ago, this photo, so I'm going with fashion is old becomes new again and everyone's wearing the same clothes that you know when we were young we might have worn and the fashion just gets recycled everyone's wearing clothes now that were worn like half 50 years ago if you kept your pants and your trim and fit you might fit into them <laughs> that's not the case for me i grow out of everything <laughs> but these pants to me oh my gosh are so 70s style she looks fabulous of course she's gorgeous so i created her as an image transfer on this fabulous looking vintage style cardstock i'm loving it she transferred really well and one of the prompts is transparent so i've used the transparent mixing white to to pull the image transfer when i put it on this fabulous vintage paper see how it's got this kind of tone to it that's because i used the transparent mixing white to pull the transfer of my beautiful print onto this fabulous cardstock so transparent tick we've used the first prompt <laughs> we're teaming with the theme and we're moving along nicely now the second prompt metallic i used this fabulous metallic golden iridescent bronze fine on this jelly print which coincides with the third prompt yarn having a yarn no using yarn <laughs> i bought this fabulous turquoise yarn wool to create these fabulous prints on the gel plate so much fun i used the metallic bronze onto black cardstock and look how glorious that looks. I love it. It's one of the most simplest and basic mark making techniques on the gel plate, but so incredibly effective. So that's the print. And then of course there's the ghost print. That looks fabulous too. I'm liking both those prints. But of course, as you know, when you're jelly printing, why print one when you can print 10? Look how fabulous this print is on the black cardstock again. After I pulled the bronze on the plate, I did a layer of white and look how fabulous that printed up. I'm loving this, that works too. So we can use either or, or both, we might use both. And we're creating a spread in my art journal and I've got to get moving because I've only got 15 minutes. <laughs> so I'm definitely using my beautiful treasure. I think I'm going to put hmm, maybe some of, oh man, now I can't decide. Maybe some of this one or the ghost print. Yeah, maybe some of the ghost print behind her on the page like that one and maybe i want some of i'm loving this one look how cool that print is what a fabulous color and texture and shape we're going on there right what else are we using we've got the yarn we've got the metallic we've got the transparent oh we need fiber oh easy so i think i'll just rummage through my fabulous box here fiber oh. <laughs> That's going to be easy, or maybe some of that, or maybe some of that, or do we want some black? I think that all classifies as fibre. That's definitely fibre. That's the Agura lace. That is fabulous. So I'll pull some pieces out of my box here of papers, and 
yay i've got to get moving and i got to get them stuck down because i did say i've only got 15 minutes so i think i'll start by giving her a bit of a trim because she's a little bit too big and i need to fit everything i want everything on my page that's looking good i absolutely love doing image transfers they're so much fun yes they can be a little tricky but the thing is, you have to use good quality color laser prints. Don't even ask me about using inkjets. <laughs> because I'll jump through the computer screen and slap you. <laughs> good quality color laser prints works for image transfers. I don't mind that actually. And we've got all that rich, beautiful metallic down there we could put her on an angle like that that'll be cool because why would we have to be straight we don't have to be straight and then we could put some of the agura lace on the edge here yes liking that a lot better i want to see all that because it's beautiful put the agura lace on the edge and then i'm thinking either that one or that one man i can't decide but i'm gonna stick that down first right backgrounds down she's down looking all very funky in her awesome 1970s gear and let's put a little bit of the beautiful ogura lace on it i might have to rummage through my box to try and find a little bit more because it's just so nice gotta love the fiber tick <laughs> absolutely fabulous what i love about doing collaborations and using prompts is just a lot of fun it's fun to create something with other people it's fun to have like a challenge and a prompt what can you think of with this particular element or item and it is all just a little bit of fun so make sure you continue watching because the next video mariah is going to use the same prompts and let's see what she comes up with. That is a whole lot of fun. And then the collaboration continues and you can watch and see the next one and then the next one. How fun is that? I'm loving that, that's working. I know, we're gonna do that. <laughs> so glad it's working. We'll just snip that on the straight edge there. And then we can decide if we're adding anything else or we might move over to the other page, quick sticks, get that down and then think about if we're happy, I'm loving the Agura lace. I love the way it goes. Well, the white goes transparent, of course, or the black doesn't. But the beautiful fibers of it make me happy. I don't want to add anything else to the bottom here because I just love this print. I only pulled the print like 10 minutes ago, so it's barely dry, but it's working. <laughs> and we're on a mission. <laughs> So I'm thinking this page is pretty done. I'm loving it. There's nothing else I want to add. I love that little bit of the print up there in the beautiful metallic bronze. And I'm loving it down the bottom here. She's looking gorgeous. Yes, yeah, she's full of attitude. We love her very much. And I'll trim that edge there. The Agora lace is looking glorious. Winning. So what did we decide on? This one or this one? Oh, man. That's kind of cool that you know it's got the metallic but i'm still loving this print today so i think i'm gonna have to go with this one if we put this there that line kind of runs like that right how cool is that and then we're really not going to need very much to this page because i just love it like that maybe we might put a little bit of um dressmaking pattern because then that could give it the whole fashion is my theme of something old that's new again. Righto, I'm going to stick that down and then go and find just a little piece of dressmaking pattern. So I've pulled out this piece of dressmaking pattern. I'm not sure how much I actually want, but it's kind of fun. It's got some cool lines on it. And I like the way we've got the dress front here. So I might put down some matte medium, uh, put it on and then pull it off as I decide the area that I don't want it. So there's a plan. Stan, let's do that. <laughs> That's the thing with collage. You can always change it. If you don't like it or it's not working or you put it on and you change your mind. I mean, how many times did I change the background colors to start with hello <laughs> and that's part of the creative process 
you just have to allow yourself to try ideas, to put it down, to see how it works, and then change it if you don't like it. So at the moment, I'm liking the dressmaking pattern idea, but it might not be that great once I put it on. How is the color going to affect my page? How do the lines affect my print? Because I'm really partial to this print and I don't want to distract from it. So, you know, just because I had this brilliant idea doesn't mean it's going to stay. Mm, I'm liking it so far. Color's okay, oops. And it's really easy to tear. Actually, I don't mind tearing it, okay. That's all right, we'll leave it like that because it's old, right? And it's new again. So we could put another hole, maybe we'll tear a little bit more there. I've got some of the white Agura Lace. It's not really white white, it's very creamy, but we could put that on there and then that's kind of matching the fiber from that side. It also goes very transparent, the white one. So you'll only see the fibers, you don't really see a whole lot. And that means that that underneath piece will be coming through once it's dry. And that's really cool because I really like it. And then what about if we put one of the beautiful handmade roses on here. Maybe we'll put it first. I like all the curves. Yeah, that could work. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> quick, quick decisions. Tick, 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 tick. <laughs> Righto, so I'm going to do that. Oh, I like that. I like the curves. I like the layers. That looks cool. That looks cool. I don't mind the torn bit. That's all right. Okay, I'm going to stick that down. And I think we are pretty well done because I'm really liking these pages. Do we want something bronze for the middle? You know, we just might. I'll show you when it's dry how beautiful it's gonna look because it will go a lot more transparent. <gasps> transparent, tick. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna find my stamp. <laughs> right, this is one of the circle foam stamps. I've got no idea what it's called, but I will put a link in the description under the video so you can find it. Look how it comes apart. It's so flipping awesome. I love foam stamps. So I'm thinking maybe just this one. Do we want the middle bit? Not sure. Let's put this on and then decide. Did you see how I was holding my breath? <laughs> I got one shot at making this look good, man. <laughs> so I'm like, Ugh. I like the way it's got the bronze in some of these lines. That looks really cool. Righto, righto, righto. Ta-da! Oh, I love it. Just love it. That looks fabulous. I don't know what this one's called, but I love it. I was using it yesterday in my studio, making a mess, mark making on papers. It was so much fun. Right, that's all got to dry. We'll let that dry. It's looking beautiful. I'm loving it. We have the yarn prints, jelly prints. We've got the metallic bronze, golden, fine. We have transparent mixing white on there. This will also go transparent, so hello. And we have the fiber. Ticked all the boxes, got all of the items included, and I'm really loving my pages. So I just tore some more holes in it because it was looking a little too stiff and perfect. And we can't have that now, can we? <laughs> so I just messed it up a little bit more and I might just add one more piece because I can't help myself. I'm thinking maybe a little bit more texture on there. That could be really fun. Love this paper. That's that, I'm having a little fiddle with that paper and I'll give you a close up when it's dry. Awesome.
Thanks for joining me today. Wasn't that just so much fun? I loved making those jelly prints. Such a simple technique using yarn. That's the fun about collaboration and using prompts. You don't really think about these things until someone says, how about you try this? So I really enjoyed today's episode. The next video is right here for you to continue watching the collaboration and see what the other artists are doing. It really is very cool, a lot of fun, and I hope you're going to join in. There's always more information in the description under the video, and I'll see you again next time in the studio.